believe that because we've been unsuccessful in the past, that that barrier still exists even for new ventures. In other words, we continue to see a barrier in our heads that separates us from our dreams, even though there is no real barrier between where we are and where we want to go. And remember this, the teacher has failed more times than the student has even tried. Imagine you wake up every day with $86,400 in your bank account. And at the end of the night, it's all gone, whether you spent it or not. And then the next day, you get another $86,400. What would we do with it? Every day, 86,400 seconds are deposited into your life account. At the end of the day, once they're all used up, you get a new 86,400 seconds. We would never waste it if it was money, so why do we waste it when it comes to time? Those seconds are so much more powerful than dollars because you can always make more dollars, you can't always make more time. We cannot avoid the ups and downs, but we can change the way we see them. Because as Wayne Dyer said, when we change the way we look at things, the things we look at change. We all face distraction. We all experience distraction. We're all plagued by distraction. But often we think that the opposite of distraction is focus. We think that we need to become more focused. We think that if we're focused, we'll feel less distracted. We feel that if we're able to draw our energy in a certain direction and force ourselves to absorb in an activity, then we won't be as distracted. But this is just not true. The opposite of distraction is actually not focus. The opposite of distraction is, wait for it, attraction. What we really need to do is increase our attraction. When we are attracted to something, we're naturally focused. We're naturally able to be present. We're naturally able to bring our attention and our energy to that task, that project, that person. When we're distracted and don't have that attraction, we're naturally all over the place. We end up feeling lost, confused, and end up procrastinating. But no matter what you do, no matter how much you chase your passion and live your purpose, there will still be things you have to do on a daily basis that you don't find interesting. And naturally, you will feel unfocused and distracted. For that, ask yourself this question. Why am I here? Why am I doing this? And you'll find the mind will start to become attracted to that activity, task, or even that person. Our health is the foundation of how we can build our time and wealth. And with our time and wealth, there are two key principles. We become successful by what we get, but we become happy by what we give. And what we give includes our time, our wealth, our energy. And when those things are used to make a positive difference in the lives of others, to help others move forward, to make an impact, that legacy will never be taken away. And as Maya Angelou said, people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel.